So for the oil application, I did try two different application methods, and this is the first of the two. Uh, so at the beginning of the process, I started just using the foam brush and brushed it all the way on the outside, brushed it all the way on the inside, and then I gave it 30 minutes to just set, soak in. Some of them needed more time, so really just waited until it was fully absorbed into the concrete and essentially it looked dry again and then I did a second application. So I did a total of two applications of the oil um, to seal the outside and the inside so it was all the same oil inside and out um, and I used this foam applicator. Now spoiler alert, I'm just going to go ahead and let you know, I did prefer my second application method better specifically for the outside application. I felt like it left less streaks to the to the actual vessel itself. Um, the inside, the foam tool was a little easier to get into like the corners and to get like a full incorporation on this larger size vessel, but for like the two smaller ones, the square and the circle, the second method that I used, I found to be just better overall but specifically for the outside the reason I felt it was better is because it was more of a buffing method even though it was still a sponge style brush it had a larger surface area but it was a foam brush on the inside and it had like a microfiber outer layer to it um, so it was really interesting and it was really nice and it allowed me to use less oil because I could use that same brush that I would do the dip and it would be the same amount of dip really that I did for like the smaller foam brush but it would carry through and evenly incorporate throughout the brush uh, throughout the foam pad so I could just buff it into place. Also if you're enjoying this content so far please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. And this is me going in with the second method using the foam sponge um, to really get an even application. This is it with the smaller vessel and then shortly you'll see me using the same method with the larger vessels. Um, so you can see how even just in the application how much different it looks from the outside of using the buffing versus the sponge. It looks a little shinier, it's less streaking, and this method was actually a lot faster than using the sponge. Um, typically I try not to have to pick up items in order to be more efficient, but in the case of this, it just went by so much faster this way that I, I know I'll be continuing to use this method if I continue to use this oil as my sealant. Thank you guys so much for all of your support with my channel. If you haven't already followed me on socials, all of my links are in the bio, including my website. The store itself isn't open yet, but if you go to my site, you can see some of the product photography that I've done so far. And if you subscribe to our email list, then you'll be the first in the know and you will actually be getting some promotion on the soft launch where you'll be the first to be able to start purchasing the product
one thing that I do really like about the tongue oil, other than it being a natural sealant, is when I actually went to go pour the wax into the vessels, there was there was some um, seep through, but it wasn't enough to make me pause. And a lot of the vessels didn't actually um, have that darker imprint, which you can get, and that's how you know that you've had some seepage. This is how they look with wax in them. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.